Morton to open for the West Indies side. Sorry, Windies as they're now called. Ball shot and six. What a way to begin the run chase. Now we're talking. Walton. Well, he's been very prolific. That's gone up in the air. This should be taken. Feeling during the PSL was outstanding by some of these young cricketers. Very good catch and Nawaz is off the mark. He's got a wicket in his first over. Just as I was about to highlight the excellence of Chadwick Walton back in the Caribbean. Flattered to deceive. Lofted shot. Didn't have the distance, didn't have the power. He's gone for six. It's six for one. Apesh gone. Straightforward dismissal. It's not working for the Windies. Another wicket goes down. Another one will visit the dugout very soon. A soft dismissal. There was no swing. It's a good batting deck. And he just plonked his front foot, front foot and didn't even went through with his shot. Just blocked straight catch to man at uh, point. Big breakthrough for Pakistan. Fletcher goes without scoring. West Indies struggling now. 8, eight for two. Another chance. Accepted. It's the same field. It's the same result. It ain't happening for the Windies. Hosan Talat, the catcher. And another man dismissed Windies. Where are they going with this, Darren? Well, they're being blown away. The captain, Jason Mohammed, the specialist batsman, fails to get off the mark yet again. It's a replication of what we saw with Andre Fletcher. He's gone without scoring. It's eight for three now. and gets it over the infield for four. That's a very, very fast outfield. Hassan Ali. Picks up a wicket of the first ball. Windies are suffering and sliding down fast. Well, it's all going horribly wrong for the Windies and for Dinesh Ramdin. He's been in Pakistan playing in the PSL. Well, 47 deliveries, hasn't scored a boundary. He fails yet again. Five deliveries, no runs. It's 15 for four now. Pulled away. It goes into the gap. A rare boundary for the Windies. Marlon Samuels, their only hope, the experienced player that he is. Khan gets a wicket, so it's all going swimmingly for Pakistan. The leg spinner now in on the act. Yeah, not a soft delivery. The West Indies, well, they're wobbling, wobbling badly. Rothman Paul, five from ten. It's 27 for five. And he gets a boundary. Yeah, the Windies, no big celebration because they're behind the eight ball. Yeah, in the air, should be a simple catch yet again. Takes it. Fahim Ashraf makes no mistake and Nawaz celebrates. Yeah, a little slower on that occasion. Mohammad Nawaz gave a little bit of an air and uh, couldn't resist. Samuel hit it in the air. Easy catch for Fahim Ashraf. Marlon gone for 18. He's 33 for 6 now. Flighted delivery went 
against the swing, against the spin for the maximum. And he took a chance, Shadab. Give it an air. Both at Karachi this time. Emrit picks it up. And he's found the fielder. Are we going to have a look? Hussein Tala seems a bit unsure because he has had a second look at his rear foot. But now he claims it. Another one gone. Straight at delivery, flighted. Outside edge, straight to the fielder. Babar Azam is the fielder. They got the eighth wicket. It's all happening for Pakistan. They're playing like champions. They're playing like the number one side in the world. And they are. That's right. And when we come back, we'll find out if he's going to get a hat-trick. Top edge. There's a fielder underneath it. Yes! He's got his first wicket as well. All, ha all happening for this youngster. 40 odd runs, three catches, and then a wicket. Yeah, Pakistan making no mistake. Good in the field, good with the bat, and now the debutant gets a wicket as well. It's 60 for nine in the 14th over, West Indies. And since they've had an injury, that should be the end of the game as well.